Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and we're back with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. Um, I have this video and one more that relate to the actual setting up of the radio from the front panel, and then following that, we're going to start getting into programming uh, simplex channels and repeater channels and different specialty channels. So, uh, thank you for being patient up to this point, but you know, we, there's a few things we've got to go through before we get to that point of actually uh, starting to put things into memory. But what I wanted to talk about for today's video is the timeout timer. Um, go ahead and, going ahead and setting that on the radio. And I've had this happen before with uh, a couple of people that I've dealt with that were new to radio. And they'll be talking along and the next thing you know, they just cut out and they're complaining, hey, for some reason my radio stops working. You know, I'm talking to somebody and I'm chatting away and uh, they, you know, may or may not have been particularly long-winded. Um, and what ends up happening is they time themselves out. And most of these radios come with a default setting and it's a, it's a thing called a timeout timer. And what it prevents the radio from doing is just being keyed down and just continuously going on and on until it heats itself up to the point of destruction or creates a lot of unwanted interference. Now let's look at the default setting for the timeout timer on this particular radio. So we're going to go to um, item number eight and that's TOT and the default is 60 seconds. So if you were to be talking for a full 60 seconds, it's 61 seconds despite the fact that you are still holding the PTT down, the radio will turn itself off. Um, well, not turn itself off, it'll, it'll cease transmitting at that point. Um, and then you'll have to release and then key down again to start talking again. And there are repeaters that have this too. We have a, a GMRS repeater here locally that has like a 60 second timeout. Um, now I tend to keep my transmissions fairly short, but um, I myself have timed out a repeater here and there. Uh, I started doing it when I was doing the GMRS nets, in fact. Uh, I would get halfway through the preamble and the thing would just cut out. And I'm talking away and had no idea. So one thing you're going to want to do is go and set your timeout timer to something reasonable. Now the selections we have here, we go into section 8 and we go ahead and press that blue button again to affect change on that, this particular menu item. Let me show you the full range. The lowest is 30 seconds. And 60 seconds is the default. And then you can take it up to... Uh, let's see, I believe it's, yeah, 210 seconds is the highest it'll let you go. Or you can turn it off entirely, but I don't recommend you do that. Uh, and the reason for that is if you have this thing maybe clipped onto your belt and you're keyed down on the mic, uh, you could have it keyed down for, well, until you take the battery all, all the way down. But <clears throat> at some point, what will happen is you'll start getting some heat buildup in the radio, and you can actually damage the radio by, by holding that uh, the PTT down too long. So let's take it to something reasonable. And for me, reasonable is going to be about 180 seconds. That's three minutes of talk time right there. So let's say 180 seconds is what you decided to select. So once you've done that, you press the blue button again. And at that point, just press the orange button to exit out, and you are good to go. So again, to get into that menu, item number eight and press the menu again, select the uh, number of seconds that you want, press the blue again until the arrow moves up into to the main menu selection, and press exit and you're out. So that is how to set your timeout timer on the TDH3. So I thank you for watching and for listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.